pessoal do Drops de Jogos, nós estamos aqui com os desenvolvedores da Cipsoft, empresa responsável pelo Tibia, o jogo de MMORPG mais jogado no Brasil. Hoje eles estão anunciando aqui esse game que tem zumbis, tem MMORPG. Hi Stefan, and what's your name? Sorry? Ben. Uh, Beth, Beth and Stephen, uh, how was the, the developing of Persist Online and you think about your Brazilian audience? <laughs> okay, um, well first about the Brazilian audience, um, we, we have with Tibia many many Brazilian fans and we, we really love the Brazilian community, so obrigado aos nossos fãs, <laughs> thank you for playing Tibia. And I think uh, Brazilian players are very passionate and very competitive and very creative and at pushing the limits. And I think Tibia and Persist Online share the same DNA. They they offer lots of freedom. And even though the the, the look is very different, um, uh, I think both are at the core real MMORPGs. So, but I think Ben can. There is a bit of Fortnite in this new game. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe the the look the look is uh, remind of Fortnite, uh, but uh, the, the gameplay is very different, of course, because it's real MMORPG. And what do you think about uh, the Brazilian reception? Uh, you have this game in Gamescom Latin. What do you think about the reception of media? What you can tell us about it? So, so far, it's been amazing. Um, it's really been great here in Brazil. Um, it's my first time that I've come oh, yeah. here to Brazil, and it, it's really uh, it's a lovely country. The people are are very open and very warm, and uh, we had a really great welcoming here. And uh, so yesterday, the game was on the trailer show, and uh, that was very exciting for us. Uh -huh. It's a, it's a first for us as well to have a, a trailer and a trailer show um, of a game. And um, the, the reception has been really great so far. So um, there's a lot of people that are interested in the game and wishlisting it and joining the Discord server. So we're really, really excited about that. You you developed like a game uh, in the pandemic period uh, uh, with crypto technology. Uh, what happened with, uh, what's the name of the game exactly? Light Brignon. Light Brignon, yes. yes. What happened? Yeah, so. We really um, were, were trying something new at that time mm -hmm. and really felt that uh, crypto technology could be... And Sipsop grew a lot in that time, time right? Yeah, well, the, the, the company has always been growing over the past 10 years or so. So, uh -huh. so, so now there are about 100 employees at Sipsoft. And uh, yeah, so during the pandemic, we were working and releasing Lightbringer. And um, it, it was an experiment, basically. Uh -huh. So we, we were trying to find out if maybe um, um, a, a game... Um, um, a game like, like the mechanics which Lightbringer had might be a good fit to, to, to the trading aspects with, which you can realize with crypto technology. Um, but it's, it's difficult, it's tough, and it, it went not as good as we hoped it would be. And uh, yeah, so, so now the, the, we don't develop the game anymore any further, but, but we learned a lot from it. Stephen, is it our first time in Brazil? No, it's uh, my second time. I have been here uh, 11 years ago. Oh, uh, yeah, wow. so yeah, so it's it's great to, to be back here because of Tibia. Yes, absolutely because of Tibia. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. What do you games play about Brazilians still playing Tibia nowadays? <laughs> but it's uh, it's lovely, isn't it? I mean, um, um, the the game is uh, such a big hit in Brazil uh -huh. and. Uh, uh, everybody we meet here has played it and everybody knows it and uh -huh. uh, people tell us that we're like rock stars here, right? <laughs> which, which feels really, really awkward because in Germany where we're from, uh, uh -huh. basically no one knows us. No yeah. one knows yes. about Tibia? Yeah. No, yeah. It's, uh, it's, 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 not, it's, not it's not famous there at all. So, um, What's the major markets? Uh, Brazil and another country? Yeah, Brazil and uh, Poland is very big um, wow. as well. So I think Poland's probably number two. Yes, right. um, but Brazil is number one by far. And, and, and South America in general, so we have many players also from, from Mexico especially, but also from Chile and Peru. So um, Latin America in general. Yeah, Latin America is very, very uh, present in the game. Yes, absolutely. What do you think about uh, MMO uh, nowadays, like World of Warcraft, we have like this acquisition of Microsoft, the, the, we have like these layoffs. What do you think about the industry now? 
Yeah, so the industry in general has, a, has tough times right now because everywhere in the world um, the, 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 the interest rates uh, were growing, were, uh, are higher now, uh -huh. and it's and it's lot. It's a much more difficult right now to to get investors into into new games. Uh -huh. So Tipsoft is lucky because we have Tibia and we have a constant revenue stream. We have so, Tibia and Brazilians. Yeah, right, right. Well, what, what what can you more wish for? Yeah, right. Yeah. But um, uh, so we were we are in very lucky position. But many other studios have big problems. So um, I hope the the, the the tides are turning and, and better better years will come now. Uh, did you play any Brazilian games? Any Brazilian games in, in particular? Nothing which comes to my mind right now. No, no, yeah, no, no. yeah. And what do you think about Brazil as a developing market? Well, it's it, Gamescom is here, so yeah. um, uh, I think lots of things are going on, and there are many, many small and larger developers now in Brazil working on games. It's fascinating to walk around the Gamescom and to have a look at all the projects out there. Um, I, I think the, the 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 gaming industry in Brazil has a bright future. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Entrevistamos aqui, gente, os desenvolvedores de Tibia e do Persist Online, que é um jogo que vai estar disponível. Já, uh, he's already uh, available to download. Uh, the new game, Persist the, Online. Yeah, Persist Online. It, we, we, we just announced it. Yeah. And you can wishlist it, wishlist it on, on Steam. Any so. date? No, we, we, we still have lots of work to do. Still finishing. Yeah. <laughs> The thing is, uh, we actually going to we want to create it with the community, so yeah. that we're going to get a lot of feedback, and we won't go into um, early access until we have the feeling that the game is polished enough and uh, it's it's good for a, a larger audience. Mm -hmm. um, so if you, if you look at the screen over there, you can actually see pre-alpha footage of the game. Um, so the game world is actually quite big already, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot to do in it already, but it's not enough for um, for a larger amount of players to go in yet. So we want to push that forward. We're going to let in more and more players and get feedback from them, add things, add features, uh, because we want the community to be, it's supposed to be their game as much as it's ours. And okay. so that, that's our approach to development, which is a bit different than other MMO companies do it. It's very responsible, you know? You do, do, do not have like bugs that yes, start exactly. like yes. problems. Yeah. Okay. É isso, gente. Persiste Online ainda não está disponível, está em Early Access para vocês acessarem. O pessoal da Cipsoft está refinando o jogo, inclusive, para não ter bugs. Estou traduzindo aqui em português para o pessoal do Brasil também entender a notícia direitinho. Acompanhem todas as novidades lá no Drops de Jogos, gente. Até mais. Tchau, tchau.